My family, you and I both know that Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex said that he does want a family, not a farm. He wants his brother back. He wants his father back. He wants to be able to heal this rift with Charles and William. And my family, Harry's wishes are noble. Harry has good intentions. But sadly, you and I cannot say the same thing about senior members of the royal family. We can't say that Charles and William have good intentions towards Harry, towards Meghan, towards Archie, towards Lilibet, Diana, because they don't have any good intentions towards them. And um, my family, allow me to please kindly say this. What is the cost that Prince Harry will have to bear or my family is willing to bear to be able to heal this rift with Charles and Prince William? Because I have noticed, and I know you have as well, that UK media are throwing the ball onto Harry's court. And they're saying, it's all up to Prince Harry. They're saying that Charles has opened the door for Prince Harry to come back. And also, they don't mention his wife and kids. Now, my family, when you hear that stuff, you can see that there is a price that the farm wants Harry to bear. A price that my family, they want her to pay in exchange of being able to heal this rift. Remember, Prince Harry is the one who has been hurt. Prince Harry is the one whose family has been targeted, insulted, abused, harassed. My family, make no mistake here, Harry and Meghan are the victims. They are the ones who are hounded out of the UK. They are the ones who continue to be subjected to harassment, hounding, bullying, and abuse by the PR arm of Britain's royal family, members of the royal rotor. And we are seeing that Tuki Media are trying to extend that harassment, you know, of how they're harassing Harry Meghan. My family, they also want to harass them in the United States of America. And my family, it is totally unacceptable. Now, my family, why am I saying this today? The reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is because I saw this piece from the Mirror tabloid, the Harry Sood, saying this, and I quote, that Meghan Markle issues a deal breaker that could end Prince Harry's dream of a royal reunion. You know? My family. And my family, here's more on what is being said. That Meghan Markle has reportedly said that she will only consider reconciling with the royal family if she is included in the peace talks and will not let the farm sideline her. <laughs> now, my family, you and I both know that Meghan, my family, has not said anything about so-called reconciling with the royal family. In fact, for like uh, two years now, my family, Meghan has not said a word about Britain's royal family. However, they refuse to let her go. They refuse to leave her alone. And my family, 
make no mistake, even this story has been created. Has been created. And my family, you and I both know that the farm, William and Charles, that is, they don't want Megan in the raw fold. UK tabloids also don't want Megan in the royal fold. They only want Harry. At least, that's what they say. And they rarely even mention Harry and Meghan's kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana. They only mention Prince Harry. Now, my family, so this so-called deal breaker that they're claiming that Meghan has issued to Prince Harry, that unless she is part of the peace talks, she, you know, can never ever consider ever reconciling with the royal family. If she is sidelined, then she can never ever even consider reconciling with the royal family. And according to the UK public media, according to the firm, they're saying that that is one of the reasons as to why Harry's dream of having a royal reunion can never ever happen. They're blaming everything on Megan. Now, my family, let me address this, please. My family, the things which are being said in this piece that I just read out to all of you, most of the stuff here is my family what I've been saying for a long time. Remember, I told you all to go and watch the Harry and Meghan documentary. And go and watch the part whereby Prince Harry was discussing the Sunningham Summit. Whereby after Meghan and Archie, after my family Meghan had fled the UK to go and reunite with Archie, who my family was in Vancouver at the time, before Harry and Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family on their, my family, around that time whereby it was like uh, their final, my family, you know, days in the royal family. Before that happened, before Harry went to reunite with Meghan and Archie, there was the Sunningham Summit, which my family was organized by senior members of the royal family, Charles, William, and the Queen, after Meghan had left. Now, my family, when you look at the Harry and Meghan documentary, go and watch Meghan's reaction when Prince Harry told her that uh, it was clear to him that that summit was only organized after she had left you know and Megan said does it make sense to talk about you know one's future when the stakes are so high when the mother the wife and the target the person who the farm William and Charles are so hell-bent in destroying he tried to remove her from Harry's life is not present in these discussions when the stakes are so high. And my family, Megan appeared to be hurt, sad, that my family, this summit even happened when she wasn't there. You know? And Harry told her, it was clear, it was organized right after you left. Now my family, also, it ain't a secret. It ain't a secret that the firm, my family, does want to make a, a deal with Prince Harry. A deal that does not involve Meghan. Let's be very, very clear on that. A deal that does not involve Meghan. That's why whenever Harry is coming over to the UK, 
some of the articles that are written by the tabloids are that, you know what, when Harry comes over, you know, he and Charles and William are going to have peace talks. And that Meghan also will not be there. Meghan also will not be present. Because that is what they want. That is what they want. And really, what I want to say is this. My family, the farm, can never ever sideline Megan from any peace talks or any conversations they have with Prince Harry unless Harry allows it. Unless Harry allows it. My family, it is on Prince Harry to make sure that Megan feels included in any conversations or peace talks that happen between Prince Harry and William and Charles, my family and whomever, and whoever. It is on Harry to make Meghan feel included. And my family, however, what the firm are saying, what William and Charles are saying is this. If Meghan is there in these peace talks, number one, we also are not going to talk with Prince Harry at all. And my family, this attempt at side-lining Megan is also further proof at how the farm and UK Media are working hand in hand to my family try and separate Harry and Megan to destroy and damage their relationship. Because if you saw Megan's reaction at the Harry and Megan documentary, to my family, this summit happening without her being there. And yet she's the one the farm are hell-bent in destroying. Megan was hurt. So my family, it's on Harry to ensure that Megan feels included in any talk, any conversation he has with Charles and Prince William. It's on Harry. And the farm can never ever sideline Megan, my family, unless Harry wants her sidelined. And clearly, that's what William and Charles want to see happening. You know, that's what they want to see happening. You know, Harry has been vocal and said he does love his family back in the UK. And one thing that I'm sure all of you know, we've never heard Charles and William say the same thing to Prince Harry. Never. Well, my family, we haven't heard Charles saying, I love my son. You know, Prince Harry. You know, you haven't heard that one bit, my family. Or, or uh, William also saying how much he loves his brother publicly. My family, we haven't heard that in the manner or way we've heard from Prince Harry how much he does love his family. We haven't heard that from William or Charles. And UK Media are the ones who write, oh, Charles cares about, you know, Prince Harry. At the same time, my family, when Harry comes over to the UK, my family I even tries to see Charles. Charles says he's too busy to see Prince Harry. And then he says that, you know what? Prince Harry wants to talk about security and Charles doesn't want to intervene in the case to my family, ensure that Prince Harry's security is reinstated. You know? So clearly, when I hear that, I am learning that Prince Harry, what he's asking for is security. For Charles to intervene in the court case. And my family, because Harry knows his word, his order, his command, can ensure that my family, Prince Harry, Meghan, Archie, little bit, have 24-hour police protection wherever they are, in America, in the UK, wherever they travel to. If Charles wants to, my family, Harry and Meghan, will be guarded and protected wherever they go. It is just that Charles does not want to give Harry that. Because remember also, one of the reasons as to why security was stripped from Prince Harry, Meghan, and Archie was that Charles wanted to control Prince Harry. Was that Charles was trying to scare Prince Harry. 
Charles and William wanted to scare Prince Harry, my family, into even returning to the Royal Fold alone without Meghan, Archie, Lilibet. You know? And my family, thankfully, people like Taylor Perry were there to help Harry and Meghan at their time of need and gave Harry and Meghan security until they figured out what they wanted to do my family next. Thanks to Taylor Perry, my family. You know? So my family, it is not a secret that the farm wants Megan sidelined. That ain't a secret. We all know that. We all know that. If the farm, my family, if William and Charles wanted to, to be able to, to make, family just a, make a deal with Harry and Harry alone, I'm sure they would be happy to do it. You know? I'm sure of it, my family. I'm sure of it. But one thing it appears that they keep on asking for is that my family, Megan, is not part of any deal with them. Any peace talks, whatever, they don't want Megan part of anything. And also, it is clear they don't want Megan in Harry's life, my family, in the first place. They want to see Harry and Megan divorced. You know? Because also, what does reconciling with the royal family mean for Prince Harry? You know? My family. Because you can see, time and time again, that the media are trying to paint that, you know, the ball is on Harry's court. In fact, I have heard from multiple carnival of so-called experts saying that, that the ball is on Harry's court. But I've said there's a price that they want Harry to pay. There's a price that they want Harry to pay. And the price that they want Harry to pay, my family, is the destruction of his own family so he can join, you know, rejoin the farm, rejoin the royal fold. But first, the price he must pay is the destruction of his own family. So it's Prince Harry willing to pay the price. My family, Harry has not shown he is willing to pay that price no matter how many times UK media have demanded, the firm have demanded for him to leave Megan. Harry has shown he is committed to protecting his wife and kids. In fact, he has been vocal about that. My family, even saying, there is no way I can ever bring Megan, Archie, little bit with me to the UK without adequate police protection. Without that, no way. Harry has been vocal in saying that, you know, my family without security, he can never ever bring Megan, Archie, little bit to the UK with him family. And also he refuses to endanger the lives of his family, of his wife Megan and his kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lily Bedana. And my family, that's a man who refuses to allow history to repeat itself. You know? My family, let me just say this. Pray for Megan. Pray for her. She needs your prayers. Because everything that I am seeing in my two eyes, because my family, you know, as you all know, I form opinions based on what I see, based on also what Harry and Megan have said, and also based on the, narr my family, on the narrative that the farm is pushing out there. My family, even this headline, Megan issues deal breaker that could end Harry's dream of a royal reunion. Even this headline in itself. My family, of course, Megan has said no such thing. Has said no such thing, my family. This is a message, my family, from the farm and UK media to the public and also to Megan herself. And also to Harry himself. Listen, if you do want to reconcile with the farm and UK media, my family, they do want to see some kind of a family, you know, an appointment because 
my family, they cannot stand as I've said, seeing Harry being outside of the raw fold. They can't stand it. They want Harry back by force or willingly or through my family at appointment. They just want Harry back there. Because also, my family, Harry, despite the smear campaign, waged against him and Meghan, he is still extremely popular. My family. And if he's back there in the farm, if the farm and UK media, God forbid, succeed in destroying Harry's family, or even getting Harry back onto UK soil, my family, you know, and also to make him join the raw fold, even if they succeed in doing that, my family, the the farm will have succeeded also in destroying the spear himself. My family. And that has always been the agenda. To prop up Prince William at the expense of my family, you know, Harry himself. You know? And my family, as I've said, is a price that they want Harry to pay. And that price is the destruction of his own family. You know, and my family, he, we joined the raw fold, my family, without Megan. And my family, that basically ends up destroying the spear. That's how they plan on destroying the spear. Hear it from me. The spear is destroyed, my family, if he loses his wife. My family, if his marriage is destroyed, the spear also is destroyed. You know? And the farm, with a history of destroying the spears, my family, in the royal family, you know, are working hard to achieve that. They are working so hard to my family achieve that. So my family, Megan has no, you know, such deal breaker. You know, Megan family doesn't have that. It is the farm and UK media who are saying to Prince Harry, if you want to reconcile with, with William, with Charles, here's what you have to do. Number one, sideline maker. Number two, leave her. That's the price that my family, Harry, is being told to pay. You know? And my family... I've always said this. Never ever allow the farm or family you come from destroy the family that comes from you. When you get married and have your own kids, your priority shifts. It shifts to your own family. They become your number one priority. When you have your own kids, when you have your own wife and children, you are Priorities must shift to them. Everything you do must be to my family. Protect your own family. Put them first. That's what happens in a normal household full of love. My family, that's what happens. You know? However, in the British royal family, things, of course, are very different. Things, of course, are extremely different, my family. Whereby, you know, even if you you get married, you are not even supposed or allowed to leave the raw fold. Nobody is supposed to leave. You are all supposed to my family stay, both arms and feet inside the my family gilded cage at all times. You have no choice but to surrender your autonomy, your freedoms. You know, at all times. Now, my family, Harry, was able to flee the UK. But despite that, look at how UK media can't leave him alone. My family. They cannot leave him alone. They refuse to leave him alone. Every single day they're asking, is Harry coming? Is Harry coming? Is Harry coming? Every single day. It's like they're trying to create an error that happened, my family, you know, in Britain's royal family when Harry left or my family fled the UK. They are trying to rectify that mistake by finding ways, any way to get Harry back by force, my family willingly, using any means necessary. And my family, for Harry's sake,
for Megan say for Archie Lily Bird sake my family I hope the farm does not my family succeed my family they're saying that Megan has given Harry an ultimatum over any possible peace talks with the royal family and insisted that she does not want to be sidelined according to a source now now my family let me just uh give you for example an example on how i've seen uh, the farm are trying to drive a wedge between harry and megan for example when harry does indeed come over to the uk we've had this narrative that harry has been offered you know a place at buckingham palace to stay in when he does come over to the uk you know and remember when he does come over to the uk prince harry normally comes over alone without his family if prince harry was to stay at buckingham palace do you know the implications of, of my family of that? Do you know the implications of, of that? Do you know the implications of that without Megan or Archie or Lilibet with him? Just imagine the rhetoric that will be spread by the UK tablets and the farm. You know? Oh, Prince Harry stayed at Buckingham Palace. You know, we believe that this is an olive branch, you know, to Prince Harry. And that Prince Harry is finally rejoining the royal fold. He's finally coming back to the UK. While his wife and family, Megan, is in California with Archie Lilibet. You know, one can't forget that what Boris Johnson, the former Prime Minister of the UK, said, that my family, before Harry went to Vancouver or fled to Vancouver after my family on his uh, last day in the UK, my family, you know, as a senior member of the royal family, before that happened, don't forget that Boris Johnson said that my family, he was approached and told if he could talk to Prince Harry and ensure that he did not leave the UK, that he did not leave the raw fold. Please remember that. And my family, someone really, really wanted Harry to stay. And my family, it's easy to know family who wanted that. You know, UK media, the farm, William, my family wanted Harry to stay, Charles also. And that's why even William, according to Harry the Mosper, did not understand why Harry fled the UK. You know, my family. William never understood why Harry left. Because the abuse was not really being waged towards Harry. The abuse from the farm and uh, using UK media as a weapon to, talk to, to my family go after Megan was meant to make Megan leave. And that's why Harry said in an interview with Stephen Colbert, they knew that my wife would leave because of how they were abusing her. What they never ever counted on was that Prince Harry would leave with Megan. You know? And my family, blood royals, were born to the royal family and not supposed to leave. The fold. They are not supposed to my family leave the gilded cage. They are not supposed to leave. But Harry was able to flee the UK. Harry was able to leave. And my family is a huge push to force him back to the UK. A huge push. A huge push, my family. A huge push. My family, all this. My family narratives and family are discerned from what I told you all, Megan's reaction. To my family, the Sarangam Summit meant to talk about Harry and Megan's futures without Megan being present in family, without Megan being present. Clearly, Megan was not happy about that. 
my family. And now, you know, the firm, my family, are saying that they want to make a deal with Harry and Harry alone because he is the blood royal of my family here. And they need him to come back by force. They can't, my family, start seeing him free, you know, happy, thriving, my family, and eclipsing the members of the royal family back in the UK. Because, honestly, with the coverage of Harry and Meghan, my family, over the past couple of years, even after they fled the UK, still, you think that Harry and Meghan are living in the UK. It's because my family, you know, UK media never ever wanted Harry to leave. He was never supposed to leave. Never. You know? And my family, with how UK media have been obsessed with each and every single move Harry and Meghan make my family in Morisito. It just shows you really that my family is clear that they never ever wanted Harry to leave. And that my family, ever since Harry fled the UK, they've been doing everything in their power to try and get Harry back. And also make it very clear that nobody is supposed to leave. And that's why they don't want to give Harry and Meghan any kind of peace. They don't want to give you know, either Harry made than any kind of peace. You know? My family, also as I uh, continue my family, they're saying that following recent health scares within the royal family, there has been a uh, talk or my family speculation, which has risen about a potential end to the royal feud. Amid the rumors, one source has claimed that while Megan is supportive of Harry's desires to make amends, she wants to be involved. And that Megan is all for Harry making peace with his family, but she's not going to let them sideline her in the process. My family, again, as I've said, William and Charles may have succeeded, my family, in ensuring that Meghan was not present during the Sandingham Summit. But my family, when it comes to any other conversation between Harry and Charles and William, especially having to do my family with the so-called uh, peace talks, my family, there is no a Charles and William can ever sideline Megan. The one person who has the power to sideline Megan is Prince Harry. Not Charles, not William, not Kate, not Camilla. And that, my family, you know, it shows you, you know, why you're seeing all this uh, narrative. That's what the farm and UK media want to see happening. They are sending a message to Prince Harry. Listen, we can have some kind of a uh, peace talks or something, but first, your wife cannot be cannot be involved. My family, you know things like that. You know, whereby UK media want to see my family. You know. Even the farm want to my family speak to Prince Harry without Meghan being present. Things like that are meant to drive a wedge between Harry and Meghan. You know? And my family, it is on Harry and Meghan to ensure, you know, that my family, the farm, don't succeed. It's on Harry and Meghan to ensure that the farm do not succeed. You know? My family. It's on them to ensure that the farm don't my family succeed you know and my family they're saying that uh megan has been very clear that she's not about to allow william or anyone else to drive a wedge between prince her between my family her and prince harry now my family of course you all know for a long time that william is the one who has been the main problem the person who has been trying so hard to drive a wedge 
between Harry and Meghan. Remember that when William tried and failed to turn Harry against Meghan, at the time, Meghan was pregnant with her and Harry's, you know, my family firstborn child. Remember that when he failed, he physically assaulted his brother. And then he told Harry, don't tell Meghan what happened here. You know, a family. An abuser never ever likes, you know, the victims ever, ever speaking my family up. You know, and William is someone probably who has abused Prince Harry. You know, and UK media only want Harry back in the UK because my family, Harry sells papers. Number two, he was never supposed to leave. Number three, my family, is because they want to continue treating Harry appallingly. You know, when you ask a man or demand that a father and a husband to to leave his own family, to go and follow people who have put him through, through hell, people who cannot even care about if Harry is safe or not. My family, what exactly are your intentions? Your intentions are clear here. You just want to ruin Harry's life once and for all, which is something the farm have been unable to do despite Eight long years of smearing both Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan are still standing. People want to be around Harry and Meghan. That's a problem for the farm and the media they, that they have. My family, what is the tactic? Now they're trying to drive a wedge between Harry and Meghan, my family. While calling this, uh, you know, if peace talks need to happen, then Meghan can't be involved. My family... If you don't have peace at home, in your own home, if you lose your own family to gain a brother who physically assaults you, or a father who can give the order for you to be stripped of your security and couldn't care less about if you're safe or not, then my family, what have you gained? What have you gained? You know, I'm so sick that UK media always try to portray life in the royal family as, in British royal family as one whereby who would want to live? It's a, it's, an, it's a perfect life. Who would want to live? And they blame Harry Meghan for somehow ruining that fantasy that some people have my family. You know? About the royal family. And yet, the people who accuse Harry Meghan of somehow ruining the fantasies, my family are Basically, the ones who my family have shown Harry and Meghan just why exactly they even fled the UK every time they insult Harry, Meghan, or their kids. They remind Harry and Meghan just when they fled the UK. Then, then why would Harry and Meghan even consider coming back? For what? For what? For what? Let me say this nobody can ever have, you know, can ever ever have a family seclude Meghan. Or silent Megan from this so-called, you know, peace talks. You know? My family, unless Harry agrees to it. Unless Prince Harry agrees to it, my family. You know? And my family, I wouldn't call what the farm want to, to have with Prince Harry, peace talks. When you're trying to destroy someone's family, when you're trying to destroy Harry and Meghan's marriage by trying to drive a wedge between them both constantly, what you're having with Harry are not peace talks. They are not my family. They are not. Despair must be destroyed. That's the, what the farm and my family, UK Medium, join hands to do my family every single, in every single my family generation. My family. UK media number one beat the air was despair. In the end, it's always despair being ruined. While the air benefits from this family despair's destruction. The same thing is exactly what they want to do to Prince Harry. And they know that one 
way that they achieve this peer's destruction is by destroying his marriage. My family, think about this. Charles and Diana. Diana was the best asset for the monarchy and even for Charles himself. His wife was my family, his greatest asset completely. But instead of Charles taking advantage of that, my family, he was jealous of his own wife. My family, of his, of my family, his own wife's you know, popularity, fame, star power. You know? He was so full of envy. He was so full of envy because of that. Instead of seeing that my family, his most valuable asset was his wife. My family, even after Charles got, you know, a divorce from Diana, my family, his most valuable asset. You know? Even after Charles and Diana got a divorce and Charles remarried, you know, Camilla after Diana passed away. After following family a tragic car accident whereby Diana was chased by Parazi paid for by the UK tablets. My family, even after Charles married Camilla, my family, is Camilla someone who is popular? Yes, she's become queen. Yes, she's achieved what she's always wanted, my family. Camilla is not referred to as a princess consort or a queen consort, my family. She is described as Queen Camilla. Yes, Camilla got what she wanted. She became the Queen of England. Yes, she got what she wanted. But my family, can you say she's popular with the public or loved by the public? Can you say that for real? Can you really say that? <laughs> can you say that? My family, of course you can't. You can't say that. Because Camilla, my family, is not popular with members of the public. Not in the same manner. Oh, way, Diana was so, so popular. My family, the same thing, my family, basically, you know, in terms of popularity with Megan. Megan is extremely popular. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know? And my family, you know, Harry and Megan together as a couple are powerful. They are powerful. Let nobody ever tell you otherwise. Together as a couple, no matter even if the smear campaign was to go on for another 10 years. The only thing that UK media are achieving is my firm with the smear campaign is making even Megan even more and more popular. Unknown worldwide. Now my family, so basically... When Harry has Meghan by his side, my family, the interest even in both of them is immense. Look at what happens even, even in family when Harry and Meghan go out together to Colombia, Nigeria. The eyes of the entire world is on Harry and Meghan. Look at what happens. For example, when my family, Harry goes out somewhere, my family alone, like for example, my family, how he went to South Africa, Lesotho, my family on his own. My family, even if what he's doing gets attention, it does not get the same level of attention that my family, you know, when you see both Harry and Meghan together. Out and about. That's the power that my family I speak of. Harry and Meghan have immense star power together as a couple. You divide them, already you succeed in dimming the spare's light. Which is what the farm, my family, William and Charles and UK Media, my family, have been trying to achieve for years. And they're still trying to achieve that. Under the guise of peace talks, my family. When you're demanding that Prince Harry pay as a price, you know, basically, you know, his family, destroy, his family destroyed. So that he can be able to <laughs> reconcile with Charles and William. Already you're showing my family, that deal is not a good deal. You know? Because basically, the deal being offered my family 
is for the spare to be ruined. My family already. And the farm must never ever succeed my family in this. They must never ever succeed my family in this. Apparently, a source is saying that Megan feels as though any attempt of a reunion with Prince Harry is a no-go. And that Megan feels strongly that she and Harry are a team. And if his family wants to welcome him back, but not her, that will be a deal breaker. And the source also says that Harry and Meghan are still very much united. And they are a package deal. You know? And that there's a big worry that Meghan could turn out to be a real roadblock in the peace talks. My family already can say this. These are not peace talks. 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 <laughs> This, my family, I can tell you for a fact, are not peace talks. These are not peace talks. You know? This is just one more attempt at by the farm to drive a wedge between Harry and Meghan under the guise of, oh, we are trying to make peace with Prince Harry. My family. If you compare between Harry and Meghan, who has been the victim of so much abuse, attacks, insults, You'll find it's Megan, my family, who has been the real victim. It is Megan who has suffered the most. It is Megan who my family has always been the target. You know, the number one target, the number one person that the farm has been trying to destroy. My family. And uh, my family, all this stuff, I believe, doesn't my family even come from Megan. It is what we know. What the farm my family already wants, and uh, they are saying that you know Megan is the one who is the roadblock here. So, that, so my family she must be you know get out of the way that way Prince Harry can be able to heal the rift with Charles and William. My family, even if Prince Harry, even if Harry is able to heal this rift with Charles and William, even if Prince Harry and you know William and Charles are able to hug together and reconcile even if that happens and then harry back home in his own home he loses his wife he loses his kids or oh, my family see a divorce god forbid between harry and megan whereby you then you then begin to talking about who will keep the kids and who will save the kids who will retain you know physical custody of the kids even if you if you see that happening Will Harry have gotten any peace? The answer is no. The answer is no. And my family is the point I'm trying to make here. This is not about peace. It's about destroying the Spears family again. This has nothing to do with peace. This is about family destroying the Spears family to prop up the heir Prince William. This is what it's about. My family. Because if Harry ends up losing his own family in the process of trying to, you know, reconcile with Charles and William, it is Prince Harry who will be the big loser here. And that is not what the farm wants to do to Prince Harry. For him to be the big loser here. Because in history, the spear has to be destroyed. In this case, as I've said, my father, the spear is only destroyed if you separate him from his wife, you destroy the spear. You know, that's how the farm want to destroy Harry completely. And also you've heard from multiple carnival of so-called experts, even if they succeed getting Harry back in the UK, the farm, William, Charles, don't intend on allowing Prince Harry, my family, you know, you know, be on the public limelight. They don't intend on allowing that to happen. My family, they're unsure. He ain't seen like Prince Andrew. That's what they'll do. My family, this is the fate and future that um, I can see that the farm and UK media are actively planning for Prince Harry. You tell me, is that a good future? Even if you see Harry reconciling with William and Charles and then ends up losing his own family in the process will any deal 
he has made with Charles and William. Will it be good for him? Will he have won? My family, he won't have won if he loses his family. And my family, this story is about that. It ain't about pistols. My family have been wrong here. When I've been my family saying about talking about pistols, I've been wrong. The language of the farm here doesn't show me that they have any intentions for pistols. The only agenda has always been one thing for years now. Separate Harry and Meghan. And they have been failing. And my family, I pray they keep on failing. And that Harry and Meghan stay together forever and ever and ever. You know, and remain the powerful, popular couple by far we know they are. And right now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lady Bredana and Doria Wagland. And all of you members of the Quarter Tom He Never Wins. Love wins and stay tuned to our next video. Love you all forever and may God bless each and every single one of your family and may no weapon for that it's harry megan archie and also lily but diane and my family ever prosper the farm william and charles don't want peace talks it is clear to me that's not what they want they don't want peace talks they just want to destroy her family that's all they want that's all they want don't be fooled you know from now on my family when you hear me saying peace talks just know that the farm don't want peace talks. They just want to destroy his family. I didn't make that family. That's all they want. That's all they want. And that's all they care about. Driving a wedge between Harry Megan. And I hope the farm never ever succeed. My family, now I've said what I wanted to say. Can you please, my family, stay tuned to this video? Love you. Ozan awesome forever. And may God bless my family. And may no weapon born against harry megan archie and also lily but diane and my family ever prosper my family i was wrong i was wrong in thinking that the farm wants peace talks with prince harry i was wrong i was wrong you know when everything leads everything that you're planning even what you're calling peace talks with harry only when everything leads to one scenario which is the destruction of the spear you can't say what you're having here is peace talks my family you can't say what you're having here is peace talks what you're having here is sabotage you are sabotaging Prince Harry by trying to deceive him that what you want is peace that's what you're doing you know and my family, peace can never be accomplished by destroying Harry Meghan's union. What you accomplish by doing that is destroying the spare's life completely. What you achieve by doing that is destroying Harry himself. He's doing to Harry what you've done to previous spares. How can anyone say that life in the rough world is a good option for Prince Harry when those are the options. Destruction of his life, of the spear's life. My family, pray for Harry and Meghan. Pray for Harry and Meghan that what the farm and UK media are planning against them doesn't work. And also I pray that God may grant Harry and Meghan the wisdom that they need to ensure that William and Charles cannot emotionally blackmail or manipulate the spear. My family, I hope that they never ever succeed in my, family, in my family deceiving or manipulating Prince Harry. You know? William and Charles don't have any good intentions towards Prince Harry. That to me is very clear. Now, my family, you tell me what you think about the intentions that the farm have on Harry and Meghan. I want to hear my family's opinion on that. Do you think that they have good intentions towards Prince Harry? Yes or no? I want to hear my family's opinion on that. You know, to me, 
they don't have good verbal intentions. But I want to hear what you think, my family. So please kindly stay tuned to this video. Love you. Awesome forever and may God bless you all. Hello, members of the Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.